guys, today I want to show you how to make a pair of baby pants from pants you already have. I had these from my recycled bin so it don't have the top. So I cut my legs open, laid my pattern down and realized that I needed to piece together two pieces in order to get the front piece. So I put them together like this, leaving some seam allowance in order to sew it together. I'm keeping the trim from the side of the pants and you're also going to need elastic to size. Taking the front piece and putting it right sides touching the back piece and repeating the same thing for the other side and sewing it down. Now we need to finish that seam, but I went ahead and tried a felt seam, which you take off one side of the seam allowance and then fold it over and top stitch, but it didn't really work out. So what you can do is just serge it or zigzag it and make sure you're top stitching on the front side. Here's what that looks like top stitched on both of them. And don't mind my coffee stained um, seam guide here that I made out of paper. You're going to mark 5 eighths of an inch and 5 eighths of an inch. That way when you put it up and up again, you have a guide where it needs to go. Once you have those markings, we're going to sew down right sides touching on both legs. And now we can easily fold up and up again and top stitch it down. And here's what that looks like. Now we're going to take one side that's right side out and one side that's wrong side out and we're going to put them together inside each other right sides touching. Make sure you're matching any seams and go ahead and pin it and then we're going to sew it. Bringing out the serger to go ahead and finish those seams but you can use a zigzag and flipping it right side out. Here's where I'm sewing my front pieces right sides touching. So remember I left that seam allowance in order to do this. So I'm just going to sew that real quick. Finish the seam and then open it up. The pattern I'm using gave a marking in order to put the elastic in. So you have to notch like so far down and then so far down again and allows the elastic to go into. So I'm going to sew the little piece at the top and then down the remainder of the side and then all the way down on the other side. After sewing, fold it in half. And you want the back side opening right here facing outwards. So remember that when you're putting this right sides touching our pants. Pin and match your seams all the way around and then we're going to sew all the way around. Now we need to finish off that seam. I'm going to use my serger. Once again, you can use a zigzag on your sewing machine. Now I'm going to take this handy nit picker and go ahead and secure my threads on the inside of my stitching. Now I'm taking a one inch marking guide, which is made out of paper, and I'm marking that from the bottom of the waist seam, and I'm gonna do it all the way around so that I have a stitching guide for my elastic. Then I'm just gonna sew right on top of that line that I drew. Put two safety pins on my elastic, making sure that they're going to be straight. Pin one side down, and then feed the other side through my casing. Once I make it all the way around, then I'm going to go ahead and pull on it and match them up and go ahead and give it a good zigzag to hold it down. I use a pin just to help me because this part can be tricky and then I just want to pull out my fabric to make sure that elastic goes into my casing. It'll look like this. You can choose to do a zigzag over that hole or you could just leave it. I don't think it's going to cause no harm. Now taking the trim I saved off the pants earlier, I tied a bow. And my sewing machine couldn't go through that many layers of denim, so I went ahead and just used some fabric glue and glued it right on. I put in some pins in order to help it dry in the right spot, and I made three more pants like this, guys. This time at a lightweight material, and I followed the instructions on the pattern for the bow waistband. And I think they came out so, so cute. I was totally addicted to making these. I will go ahead and link the pattern I used in this video down below in my description box. I really enjoyed making these. I found them really easy and fast to make. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.